I don't know who you are. This is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. But I believe God is giving a word to many of you who have suffered uh, a loss, suffered um, a delay, a detour, for example. Detours and delays are not denials. Remember that. Detours and delays are not denials. Sometimes a detour is the safest way for you to get to the goal. Even though you know a much quicker route, a more direct route, the detour is there to protect you from something. So if God allows detours in your life, thank him for it and go that route. Even if it adds another two years to the process of you realizing your goal. Don't get frustrated with God. Don't give up the ghost on your dreams and goals on what you're reaching forward to. No, you need to know. Now, this is the reason this came to my mind. Sometimes during the Christmas season, we have a season of deaths. We also have people getting sick. And there are times when a family member will get sick at the most inopportune time. Yes, you love the family member. Yes, you care. But you also know that right at that moment was when you were going to take that test. Right at that moment, you were going to take that flight and get to a certain destination where you had to sit before a panel in order to get to the next level in your dream. But God sometimes allows the detour. Now, how you handle the detour determines how much quicker you get to your goal. Handle the detour with a good attitude. Don't get frustrated and angry because you're the only one that can take care of a family member who, by taking care of that family member, delays your dreams. Delay is not denial. Detour is not a denial. But sometimes if God allows a detour and a delay to slow up your progress because someone in your life needs you right now, God will, I mean, he will repay you for the delays. He will pay you back for having a right attitude, for serving that person in love, for taking care of that person at the knowing that the possibility of never reaching your goal is right before you, but you still choose out of love, not obligation, out of love. And if you don't have it, ask God to put the love in there. Be real about it. He will. If you're willing, he will. And he will give you all the grace you need. You'll have more love than you ever thought you had. You'll have more patience than you've ever been able to conjure up. But guess what? When you're done, when that assignment is done and the detour is complete and God is ready to get you back on track to reaching your goal that God has placed in front of you, especially if it's God's perfect will, which means it's his purpose in your life to reach that goal, you will. Oh, you will. All kind of little miracles will break open for you. But you have to keep the right attitude. <clears throat> Don't think of that person as your stumbling block. No. Think of them as an opportunity to an even greater blessing when you get there. Mm. You may be delayed a year. You may be delayed six months. You may be delayed... Five years, oh, perish the thought, but, but your progress might be exponential because of God honoring your sacrificial commitment out of love. You just have no idea how God will reward you. There are people who get blessed with a house out of nowhere because they were determined to be a blessing. God blesses selflessness. 
Now, that doesn't mean that you bend over and let somebody abuse you and use you and tear you down. No, 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 no. We're not talking about that. We're talking about a genuine need. And you are the only one available, able, maybe even willing, even partially willing to do it. But if you pray and ask God to give you all it takes to do it, and not allow you to miss out on your goal as a result. God will do that because he honors sacrifices of love. He says, the Bible says, the Lord has not forgotten your labor of love. Oh, he doesn't forget that, you guys. I'm telling you. I'm a witness. So you remember, if you have to make a sacrifice and God says do it, and I bless you in the future, you stand on that promise, baby. You will not fall short of your goal at all. God will bless you through hook or crook. God will bless you. And won't be no scheme you have to do. He'll do the blessing. And you just sit back and enjoy the surprises. But go on and do what you got to do without resentment, without complaint, Amen? And watch and bless you exponentially. Amen.